Perfect. And we can slowly move while people are joining. Yeah, uh, another thing to consider is that uh, it's uh, a free stage for everyone. So whenever you feel you want to speak, you want to talk, you want to comment on something, just write in the chat or raise the hand to talk. Uh, or just uh, if, if you want, really, you can unmute yourself and talk. We are in happy and safe space here. Absolutely. So let's get to know each other while we're going to introduce ourselves. Please do it too. You can write in the comments where you're from, especially in which area of expertise you are working, what are your interests, and in which city you are currently based. So please do, and we'll uh, check our comment section. Uh, and I will start with myself. So I am Olga. I am originally from Kyiv, but uh, uh, not currently I am in Berlin uh, and sometimes I'm also in Portugal. So it's my magic triangle of locations. And uh, as for professional things, I'm a software engineer and super passionate about e-learning. I am the CEO and co-founder of Workademy, a modern learning management system for growing companies. And I'm super passionate about learning and development. This is uh, whom we are working for. And uh, this is uh, this area uh, is the area that we strive to boost productivity in and make it happier and safer space. And super happy to be here with you all. Thank you for joining and giving the mic to, uh, to Diana. Thank you very much, Olya. So yes, my name is Diana and I'm Chief Operating Officer of Adera one of the biggest online educational studio in Ukraine. And we create content daily. And uh, of course, each video is also created based on a science-based approach. Uh, we precisely know how long it should be, what information should be conveyed in the video. Uh, thus, I'm especially excited in today's topic on how we can actually leverage AI while creating this kind of content. And our dear expert, Ina, the mic is yours. Hi, everyone. I'm super happy to be here. Thank you for having me. Uh, so I'm actually from Kyiv as well, but currently I live in Hungary. Uh, I'm a learning strategist and learning manager at Eli.io, um, but I used to be an instructional designer as well. And overall, my experience in education is eight plus years. And last year, uh, my experience totally uh, gained new um, verticals thanks to AI and um, I'm especially excited to uh, talk about it today. Cool, thank you very much. I see that our geography is super wild in the chat. We have Poland, Italy, Portugal. 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 Nice. <laughs> A lot of your colleagues, Ole, I guess. Um maybe yes yeah because uh, uh i have a lot of portuguese audience on linkedin so thank you very much hola uh, hola a todos um and also uh, a lot of people from ukraine as well sim privit uh, thank you very much thank you very much for being here and sharing your experience with us yes Exactly. All right. And uh, we are almost about to start. The last reminder who this is for. Uh, it doesn't matter if you are new to LD or if you already go to expert. Uh, this session is going to be beneficial for both, um, especially those who work with content creation themselves uh, and generally interested in artificial intelligence. Our main goals for today's webinar is to do a lot of things, to find new solutions, to brainstorm together, because we're going to have a few interactive uh, exercises, to get some inspiration and new ideas, to network and to get to know each other better, and of course, to have fun. If you are comfortable, you can share your expectations also in the comment chat. And um, one more time, Anytime you want to speak up, you can uh, raise your hand and we'll give you the mic or comment uh, in the comment section. Cool. Ina, the floor is yours. 
So the privilege of having the first L&D happy space in the new year means, of course, starting from L&D Trends for 2024. Um, they are kind of similar to what we discussed closing up 2023, and the main trends certainly stay with us. Uh, so starting with uh, learning and the work of flow, um, of course, learn by doing is the main construct of L&D right now in many companies. Uh, AI, of course, this is why we are here today. We will cover it a little bit later uh, in more details. Uh, next challenge, I would even say, is uh, data-driven L&D, meaning that it's quite hard to achieve feasible results. Am I right with L&D? How do you measure knowledge? So from where I stand, uh, a lot of L&D experts find it quite challenging to measure the progress. So this is what's waiting for us, right? To give more numbers, give more data to our uh, resources and our products that we produce. So next are two, I'd say, are a bit connected, micro-learning and video-based learning. Um, they could go hand in hand sometimes, uh, but I'm not going to be the first one saying that we need more dopamine. And that's why we are, choosing micro-learning, right? So we are stepping away from the cumbersome uh, long modules and video-based learning actually helps us in this. So I know Diana has a question for the audience and I'm super excited to hear your yeah, insights. Sure. Uh, the last point here is video-based learning. So we were wondering how often do you guys use videos in content creation for training? Uh, you can also send one if you use it often and two if not so much because I know that we have a lot of L&D experts but from different different spheres we have HR experts here and instructional designers as well so it's just for us to see uh, to see your knowledge and usage especially I repeat the question how often do you use videos in content creation for training one if super often or just often and two if not so much Oh, a lot of fun. Okay. <laughs> I guess we have very good targets. Wow. Yeah, that's, that looks really great because uh, from where I come, actually, um, I talk to a lot of L&D experts and surprisingly, the answer that I get of the format that they choose of, uh, of learning is still PDFs or some, you know, quite old fashioned ways. So it's really great to see that video based learning is quite trendy right now in our target audience, right? So let's talk a little bit about um, pedagogical advancements, right? So why video based learning? We will talk about AI video, but let's stop uh, for a minor second here. So first and foremost, I was actually um, going to learn how to cook sushi today in the morning, just to give you an example. And I remembered that in the past, like 20 years ago, our mothers, our parents would use to exchange the written recipes, right? Right now, it's not, you can't imagine this. If you want to learn something, you go on YouTube, right? Because you can see the feasible result, you can see the what you will get, and you will be guided step by step uh, through the whole process. So hereby, we, we talk about engagement and personalization. When we talk about accessibility, it's really easy with videos to adjust uh, subtitles um, for other languages as well, if you can't translate the full video. And especially for those who are um, whose English is a second language, uh, it's really great to uh, adjust the content for their needs. Uh, talking about easy distribution is, of course, uh, the format itself. Now, we'll we tend to play a lot with formats. Some support SCORM, some like LinkedIn Learning has a special format I just found out. It's AICC, something like this. But I know that very few actually support this content. So uh, MP4, I'm sure every uh, platform um, dis can distribute, or even if you use just Slack within your company, it's easy to go with. And last but not the least, um, bite-sized approach, like nuggets, like uh, learning that uh, we talk a lot about these days, micro-learning. This is what audience has time for because not just, I don't think that we become lazy. Uh, I just think that there is so much information around us and to pack it all in three minute video is much better, right?
Exactly. Ola, we don't hear you, but yes, yes Ina, fully agree with you. Uh, yeah, I, I, I asked if there were any questions or any comments, and I see that uh, uh, Carolina already wrote a comment. Thank you so much for that. I will read it. Uh, videos need to be suitable for the content taught. If it's a process to show steps, it makes sense, or to describe an image, graphic, etc. But video is not the perfect solution for all types of content or skill. I totally agree with that. Um, you know, maybe you, you have uh, some comment on that. Sure, I fully agree. It's not a perfect solution for each and every um, learning goal that you are facing. Uh, but in some cases, and we will cover the topics a little bit uh, later, um, video-based solution is a huge uh, help. But mm -hmm. of course, um, when we talk about some um, grand topics, for instance, uh, business mindset, it's quite hard to um, create learning paths just with video-based learning. You need so much more than that. And micro-learning also is not a solution for each and every topic. So fully agree with uh, Carolina. Thank you for your comment. Yeah, and we will later have uh, this uh, question where we will brainstorm on like the areas where video-based training can apply the most. So uh, uh, we will uh, go for it. And uh, in the fast paced world of today's workplace, is, the well being of, em is it? Okay. of employees is more crucial than ever. That's why our company wants to take a moment I, to draw attention to the issue. <laughs> so, from the next slide, it started. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Sorry. So, uh, just to talk a little bit about statistics behind the video based learning, you can see it here that employees are 75% more likely to watch a video than read. And it's not just about employees, but it's a general statistics on the population. Uh, and of course, the human brain can process the video 60,000 60, quicker than it can text, which is, if you think about it, it's hard to imagine, right? Uh, however, it's not just about processing. Um, there is also quite a set statistics uh, that around 60% of instructional material um, is being forgotten after two weeks. I'm not a huge supporter of this. I don't think that it's applicable for each and every instructional material. Uh, however, um, with video, it's possible to improve retention 9%, which is already a good result. So coming next to our video, which is a little bit, uh, we started earlier than we planned. So uh, should I play it? Yes, please. Let's talk a little bit about AI Avatar. Say it again. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, yeah, N no clue what's happening here. But anyways, um, so talking about AI avatars, you can see on the left here, this has nothing to do with the Oscar winning uh, film. Uh, uh, AI avatar is an artificial intelligence created person. It's not a real woman right now in front of us. Uh, and using artificial intelligence technology, you can create any video with any text, with any speaker that you uh, want to be within seconds, actually. So let's see a quick example that I assembled within two minutes or so. Workplace, the well being of employees is more crucial than ever. That's why our company wants to take a moment to draw your attention to this issue. Let's take a moment to delve into some key statistics on employee mental health. Did you know that 80% of employees experience stress related to work? This staggering number sheds light on the importance of addressing mental health in the workplace. So what are some common stressors employees face? Heavy workloads, tight deadlines, and the blurred lines between work and personal life can take a toll on mental well-being. Now let's shift our focus to practical strategies that employees use to navigate these challenges. Taking short breaks during the day allows employees to recharge and refocus, boosting productivity and reducing stress. Encouraging teamwork and open communication fosters a supportive environment where employees can share concerns and find solutions together. Incorporating mindfulness practices such as deep breathing exercises or meditation helps manage stress and improve overall mental well-being. Remember, investing in employee well-being isn't just a perk. It's a necessity. By addressing these common stressors and implementing practical strategies, we can create a workplace where everyone thrives. 
Okay, so here was uh, our sample. Um, I would be curious to know uh, if anyone thinks that this looks like a real person uh, or, or not. So what, what are your thoughts on this uh, technology? And I see Diana, please. Uh, no, I actually like it's it's kind of obvious that she is not real. I mean, just yeah. because I am uh, a bit of familiar with the sphere. But Ina, I was wondering, first of all, the, the video is great itself, but I was wondering about the level of customization and how your initial prompt look like. So what did you text, like create a video about mental health at the workplace or how was it and what was it? You are absolutely right. So the title of the video, if I'm not mistaken, is Employee Wellbeing something. So that is exactly what I typed uh, as a prompt, uh, create a video of employee for employee well-being, something, whatever it was that time. But uh, I totally agree with you that it's obvious that it's not a natural speaker so far. The way the technology moves that um, within a year, we won't see the difference. Um, there are pluses and minuses, but this is the technology that is with us. Yeah, and it's sticking with us, I think, Olga. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, I also uh, don't feel that is a, a real person, uh, but uh, still, while she was talking and when she mentioned deep breath, I took it, and <laughs> it was uh, it was good for me at this moment. Uh, so yeah, quite interesting. Um, should we continue, or does maybe anyone have any comment on on that? Or um, doesn't look like a real person, but does look definitely feminine but also like a, a warrior some kind of amazon or something like an avatar yeah no, yeah a, a female warrior you know i yeah. see what you mean fully agree yes yes well <laughs> yeah. perhaps she's volunteer she's in blue perhaps she's volunteering to fight for ukraine now at the moment <laughs> i don't see the reason why not why she shouldn't well she should <laughs> certainly yes I would say, but anyway, that's, uh, you know. Mm -hmm. And we have quite a challenging comment from Carolina about that mm -hmm. the talking hat creates cognitive overload, and that's really true. Um, so, Ina, maybe you can comment on that too, or we can start there, the group discussion. Well, yeah, it's it's quite a big discussion, so we would probably need a couple of minutes, but uh, to address your concerns regarding cognitive load, um, very fast. I agree that we really need to um, modify and really control the level of the um, talking head and using AI and avatar that, yeah, looks like a little person, but not 100%. So, however, uh, I'd say that compared to the traditional text-based um, learning where you got, well, maybe picture, maybe hotspot, um, it's still, you reduce cognitive load by uh, adding the videos like this. Uh, again, it's not perfect solution for each and every case. However, when we talk about system trainings, and we will talk a bit, a bit more about uh, use cases of uh, AI avatars a little later, uh, it's a great solution um, because it adds personal touch. And from the LND specialist perspective, it's quite easy to create this content, which is also important. I see a lot of LND specialists settling for uh, still P PDFs. That was, uh, in my experience, in quite big multinational companies, just because their working load is vast. So they just don't have time to create a full scale video training with um, a real speaker. Um, so they just settle for PDFs. So in this case, this is much better. What also is another to thing to consider, uh, I was just having a conversation with a big, um, um, with quite a big multinational company and what their L&D um, was busy with for the last half a year is creating uh, a course uh, where CEO gives lectures. So for half a year, they were creating this um, quite Big, it was an enormous project for them. And the, even before the project has ended, the CEO quit. So what do you do in situations like this? So here is the advantage. And I see Olga, you have a comment for that as well. 
Yeah, I, I think there is uh, a lot uh, a lot of work to be done with this AI generated content, and uh, I also see and with conversation with other LND experts, we see that the role of LND will shift. So there will be more like uh, automated content creation, but uh, you still need a good expert to curate, moderate it, and uh, avoid situations like Carolina, you mentioned, having a talking head and, and being the image misaligned with content, which can create even like overwhelming experience instead of good learning experience. So, but I think that uh, uh, the <clears throat> how it can automate and optimize because before we would have to create content from scratch. Now we have a huge support, but of course we cannot just create it and distribute it among employees because it it, it can be a super uh, not nice experience. So yeah. Mm -hmm. And Certainly. I take the very last question from, from the chat and just continue the main information uh, just because of the timing. Uh, yeah. So is there any resource that says anything about learning from videos created with AI? Um, because yes, Elisabetta is totally right that it's kind of um, everyone knows that when the author and the narrator is a natural human voice, uh, we remember the information much better. So do you do you have a comment on that, Ina? Uh, I don't think there is a research conducted yet. The one research that we can rely on, there are some, but within companies, and I wouldn't trust on that. Um, however, there is more to come. Uh, this technology uh, is just, it, it's a little less than a year with us. So... Yeah, I, I'm quite excited to see what's to come because within a year, uh, this is the result you get. Uh, it's not just the speaker itself, the, which can talk to me with AI, but it's as well a video editing tool. And um, I quite myself is I'm quite excited that I don't need to use multiple tools like Canva, Adobe Premiere Pro and Adobe After Effects to add some uh, animation. And so within this tool and many others, actually, thanks to AI, um, you can do everything just one space. So I would, yes, of course, we're here to uh, discuss AI a little bit more. However, I strongly recommend using AI in all the forms, um, chat GPT especially. So we will talk a bit more about this later. Um, so just please feel free to stop me every second because AI is quite... Uh, for me, I can talk about it for hours and we've got a lot of more to cover. So let's continue. Let's continue. Yeah. Um, so yeah, about uh, avatars uh, and traditional video making, Ina, the floor is yours. Yeah, so um, fully support the uh, idea that if you need an expert opinion, you, then you need to record an interview with the, ex with the expert coming back to the all the concerns. However, when we talk about uh, lighter topics like system trainings and so on, um, what do we usually have? We have a picture and the text. So that's not that engaging. Hence, personalization is a little bit more enhanced uh, in um, AI video creating tools like Eli. So um, talking about cost and time efficiency, um, I would combine them a little bit together. Uh, however, when we talk about recording interviews, it's always a long process. And have you ever had situations when you record an expert and he's fantastic and one of a kind or she, uh, however, he, she is having struggles with uh, explaining their point of view and you spend hours and hours on trying to perfect the video and then the person is upset. So this is quite a long process which uh, can be simplified with AI videos um, in, some extent, right? Uh, when we talk about localization, um, that's also a huge plus because um, I will also wouldn't say that machine translation is gives you 100% results. Usually it's from 80 to 90%, so you still need some editing, but it's much easier to um, not start from the scratch. And of course, script adapting, uh, same topic that I addressed, the CEO quit, what do you do with the content? Um, what if your procedure, your learning content has to be adapted in some ways? You don't need to re-record -re the full video. Uh, all you need to do is just uh, make, a, make changes in the text, 
download the video and you're ready to go. Okay, some use cases finally. So where can it be uh, addressed? Uh, so onboarding, software training, process training, what we discussed uh, is a great way to uh, to, re to present uh, the learners with the learning material. Um, however, one example I'd like to give when we talk, let's say about uh, sales training, mostly these are communicative trainings. So mostly you would go with the client says this, please choose the correct answer. However, if you do add a talking head video, uh, it gives more um, it, it gives more personal touch, right? That uh, it, it adds more seriousness to the process. Um, and if there is an attitude, then there is retention. So uh, that's my belief, but also it's uh, quite natural that we respond to human-like person better than to a text. So communicative trainings, is a um, quite good way to enhance your simple text-based trainings with uh, talking heads. So um, this is about use cases, uh, and I think we can move on. Yes, so uh, we prepared one very practical uh, task for all of us, but before we do that, uh, let's discuss this question and maybe brainstorm on that too. So how do you guys think which areas uh, can benefit the most from AI generated videos and general AI video content? Because when we were discussing this with Olya, uh, we were also thinking about different types of training or especially these use cases that Inna mentioned. But I was actually thinking uh, more about the concrete sphere like agriculture or IT or whatever. So let's, yes, Olya, if you can. Mm -hmm. um, let's see what do we all Thing. Yeah, and because um, as uh, Carolina mentioned, not all the areas can benefit from it and some areas may, might even suffer in some way, uh, but definitely there are some topics that can be that can be automated and can fully benefit from uh, this kind of video, especially when it comes to resource savings. Um, how can I, uh, just a second. Yeah, I'm so into technologies that sometimes I struggle with a single button on Slido to, to present it to people. Okay, and we have some some answers maybe like uh, for a minute, uh, let's um, uh, think about what, what else ca can be. I really like the example uh, that Ina you said, like uh, sales scenarios tra training. So I believe that uh, like you can have several talking heads and establish like a dialogue between them. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, you are absolutely right. Uh, that's totally possible, and it looks quite well. We can imagine all imagine ourselves that the alternative is either text, right, and we can add some um, maybe even animated characters. That's also not bad. Uh, however, I it's probably personal, but I think human like presenters look better, and um, compared to the previous uh, experience, if uh, you remember, we once discussed that I just came across this YouTube video where um, the presenter was explaining how to make an animated character just walk for your course. And uh, I thought, oh, oh my God, it, it takes like an hour just to make a character walk. But right now with AI, we can um, make people talk and it's really enhances the training this way. I see coaching. I, I, I'd like to see here um examples myself because i never used it in coaching myself but yeah curious to hear customer service customer support um what uh let, let me just read one last uh, latest um, uh, comment uh in the mm -hmm. chat uh it's huge adrian thank you <laughs> thank you very much uh so uh, adrian and sorry because it's it's a bit 
a, a lot to kind of take in because it'd be new to lots of people but yeah anyway. it's yeah. about uh, user-led uh, user-run organization in development i really love this topic because this is also something what we would like to take work academy to so people are encouraged to create content and uh, uh, be in learning organization with uh, like team members uh, being in charge of that but i will read out loud uh, what adrian wrote yeah one thing i would add is that or maybe you yeah adrian uh, just uh, in your comment yeah uh yeah i'll try and and do you know ask questions because i realize that you know it's my native language but it's not yours you know <laughs> um so i would involve ld that's learning difference or difficulty not uh learning and development user-led and user-run organizations in developing your default content one thing i didn't put in there which I, but which i do have to add from experience is that you tend to have to physically go to these organizations <laughs> and meet the meet them and then ex explain with the support workers and everything like that yeah uh and um and and it requires a certain amount of patience um and uh some things have been cut due to all the you know chaos around covid and things like that but there's still out there things like people first national people first of the uk in brixton in london um um and uh, so that it is in easy read and pictures format as the default now these organizations produce easy word and pictures you also get some organizations which are far bigger which are not user run and user led and they may, may need to be involved at some point they're the ones who tend to get all the money <laughs> uh i mean we you know, when we did some studies as activists of where the money went, uh, we found that at least 96% of the money, this was some years back, and it's probably worse now, went to non-user-led, uh, non-organizations. Um, because there's the rhetoric and there's the reality, you know. Um, but nevertheless, it's those organizations that tend to produce a lot of the best uh, work and in some instances, their main source of income or, or, or was just, you know, literally selling this stuff. Um, uh, and which makes it easier for, for everyone, including most, especially those who are having to use a foreign language. Because if something is in easy words and pictures, it's using simpler words in the, in the, uh, uh, in the language. So, um, you know, I mean, if I was to use a word like uh xerophagy i'd have to explain what it means yeah uh for example i could but you know if you if you do have to use a technical term you then explain it in simpler words so that is basically eating of dry vegan food without oil okay that's it. that's the explanation for that um uh the, the first people first movement especially in this regard a person needed someone who's extremely uh, should should read dyspraxic. I wrote dyspraxia, but yeah, that's a mistake there. Uh, and has severe sequencing difficulties. Number checklists of the steps. I'm trying to move this down now. If it, get the on the arrow, which is very difficult actually. Move this big arrow. There we go. Um, I need to take this ten to my experience, then to be used by every one to help with training and execution of tasks especially when things are complex and i was diagnosed as dyspraxia when i was working trying to process benefits so this is how this kind of came about um and as as my past experience of being a social security and that was pensions disability living allowance attendance allowance maternity benefits widows and widows benefits uh excuse adrian yeah, uh, maybe uh, let's uh, let's have this discussion at the very end, just because I'm uh, just sure, a matter sure, of sure. the timing, and we have a lot of things to do today. Sure, sure, so, sure. Yeah, 
Super. I did say kind of cut in and interrupt me. <laughs> no yeah. worries. No, that's no, super. No, no, no worries. Uh, I wanted just to, to have a short comment on your big comment. Uh, but yeah, we can we can have this comment uh, in the end if we still have time. But thank you very much for sharing your experience. And uh, we have here already a lot of uh, uh, words for you, Ina, to, to cover in your uh, next um, uh, slides. So uh, sales work, safety scenario based product training, leadership and so on. Thank you very much, everyone, for uh, for contributing. And let's continue the presentation. Um, yeah, thanks a lot. Uh, it looks great, especially product training. I feel that um, you can benefit a lot from video based play, uh, learning. So. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Olga. Okay, so now let's talk a little bit about tips and tricks. I'd say they're quite general. Uh, you can use it without, with or without a tool, some of them. So first and foremost, of course, the learning goals, it, they have to correlate with your target audience, with your material and with your topic, very clear, very simple. Um, next is uh, the storyboard. Um, within tools like Eli, uh, there are already storyboards when you can just adjust, for instance, make the text more exciting, more make the text funnier, may add jokes. So adjust via ChatGPT, however you would like. If you don't have this, uh, strongly recommend to use ChatGPT. Of course, uh, starting from give me 10 ideas for my product training um, with storytelling and gamification, and you there you have it. So that's already a base. That's something that you can start from. Um, inspiration is always a great thing to work with. Uh, next, prepare the template. Uh, I Ideally, it has to be customizable in the way that it fits your brand book. Um, you can reuse it in other topics. So better get a job done uh, in the beginning, right? And then you, you are ready to go with adjusting your content and you will have already the full design. Uh, or use a, a ready one. I will also show you um, a little bit later how to do it um, via Eli. Uh, if you do use uh, artificial intelligence for narration or for talking heads, um, there is always an option to customize uh, voice, uh, customize speed, narration. You can even choose the uh, mood of the speaker right now. So it can be, um, for instance, uh, jolly or young or anything that you possibly want, you can choose. Uh, also accents. So in terms of English, million accents, you will find them as well in the tool. Uh, talking about visuals and um, animations, uh, one AI tool I can also recommend you, it's called Lexica. I don't know if uh, probably a lot of people have heard, but uh, quite nice tool as well, because uh, you don't need to uh, contribute to the like it, it, yeah, of course there are uh, share free websites, for example, uh, free pick, right? Many people use that. But if you want to use something original, again, AI is um, a, a friend of yours in this topic. Um, just type in something like, I want a cat on the moon uh, eating chips and you will get it. Uh, next, uh, of course, the last thing is, again, it's more to uh, AI generation tools like Eli, when you can recreate your own voice and avatar. So uh, you can actually make a picture of yours or any. Uh, I'm sure some of us saw uh, Snoop Dogg or this guy from the office show talking and giving uh, your personalized messages, which is also something for um, like a comedy relief or a Santa Claus sending Happy New Year message to everyone. So this is also something you can play around with. And it's never boring this way. Yeah, actually, this uh, own voice and avatar, I think there is a huge potential in that. Uh, I know one uh, blogger in, in Ukraine, his whole SMM is like AI generated avatar of himself. And uh, there are like crazy really? things where he uh, invites people to his webinar where he will teach people about how to do that. And in the end of this video, he says, and by the way, this is not me, it's my avatar. And it's like, 
mind blowing. So yeah, it's possible to create crazy things just uh, um, knowing what you do and what you want to achieve. And let's move on. Uh, what's... You need to send me. Uh, please share with me this blogger. I would. I, yeah. I'm curious. Things like I this. will. I will. I. I, uh, I would do it now, but I don't remember his name. I would have to search, but I certain certainly will. Um, okay. And here we have some minutes of um, of practice. Of practice. Yes. Yeah. Perfect. So I just send you the the link to AI in uh, Ali in the chat. Um, you can register and Ina, if you can do the voiceover and maybe while uh, we all are creating our own videos, uh, we can answer a few questions from the chat. Yeah, and sure. uh, maybe let's take not more than three minutes for that because uh, the time uh, is short. It's just uh, for you uh, uh, to, to feel the experience of creating AI generated video and to see how it works with a lie. Um, and Ina, yeah, the floor is yours. Thank you. So a uh, couple of uh, ground rules, let's say so. Uh, everyone has a one minute free of uh, video. However, um, it's called rendering. So when, once the video is rendered, uh, your minute is gone. Before that, you're free to customize, adjust the text, listen um, to the full version to one slide as much as you like. Just make sure not to click render unless you're ready to download uh, your video and you're happy with the final result. So, um, Olga, Diana, do you think I should uh, share my screen and... Uh, yeah, that would be the best. Yeah. Okay. Just a second. Okay, can you see my screen right now? Yes. Great, perfect. Okay, so here is our home page, and there are four ways to start with your video creation. First is from the template. So you already have uh, prepared slides and you can create. Um, so once you have a template, you can type in your text. Uh, another option is to go with AI storyboard. This is what we talked about. So create for me a video on, uh, let's say, emotional intelligence for first time managers. And it will do this for you. Uh, afterwards, of course, you can customize the way you like it. Also, you can use from um, URL. Let's say that you need you have a blog post that you like and you would like to remake it in the educational material. Simply copy paste it and it will divide it into slides automatically and um, readjust the content a little bit to fit uh, for educational purposes. Uh, you can also copy paste your text or start from the scratch uh, where you have empty um, canvas and you are free to create your masterpiece and then uh, adjust with the chat GPT. Um, just as we said, make it more interesting, add jokes, to make it more serious, etc. You can also start with avatar. So first you choose a person you go with and then you create your video. And last but not the least, the PPT. So if you have as educational material PPTs, um, you can just drag and drop them there and they will also be remade uh, into um, educational video with a speaker automatically. However, please uh, make sure that you don't have uh, your own um, fonts because um, they are not going to be, so your own company's fonts, they're not going to be transferred. And sometimes the pictures, uh, they are uh, going to be like, so they won't be divided into a lot of objects. So with PPT, it's just like a um, static image it's going to be. Uh, okay, so let's go with AI storyboard because it's fun to show. And so we talked about emotional intelligence. So click on generate. Uh, normally it needs um, 30 seconds or so to create a video. And meanwhile, you can change the template by clicking here. 
Um, okay, our video is created. Uh, you can regenerate if you'd like or create slides. Okay, just a minute. That's an awkward pause, so I hope you are still with me. Please bear with me. Okay, it's ready and coming back to the templates. Um, I'm happy with the first one. Okay, once it's applied, you can edit. So here is the title. The second line is a subtitle or information on a slide. It can be bullet points, let's say. And below you will see the text which is created for the speaker. Feel free to adjust it. And on the left to choose the correct uh, setting, with whatever you would like. So once you're happy with the result, uh, click on convert to slides. And it's converted. So there are a lot of features in this tool. However, uh, we are really, um, we, we have to cut it um, a little bit due to respect with the time. Uh, so what you need to know is that below you will uh, have the text that a speaker pronounces. So feel free to customize it. Here you can edit uh, the, the um, accent and the speaker and the pace of the speaker and so on. And on the right, you can change the avatar. There are many... Sorry? Apologies. Could you repeat, please? OK, that's some technical issue, no matter. So um, you can change the avatar in here. And uh, once you click on Render, your minute is going to be um, taken from your account. So please don't do it unless you you make sure that your video, you're satisfied with the video. Uh, you can listen here below uh, the slide, how the speaker talks. However, you won't actually see uh, the speaker talking. You can hear only the voice over. Uh, this is how AI uh, works right now. So uh, this is the short, yeah, yeah, please. Yeah, just a small interruption. We have very mm -hmm. related question to that. Uh, how okay. ally, how you make sure it's instructionally sound? So do you have a human go over the storyboard or you print train it with instruction rules? Um, could you repeat, please? Uh, I'm not sure yeah. I caught. Uh, how to make sure it is instructionally sound? Do you have a human go over the storyboard, mm -hmm. for example, or do you pre-train it with instructional rules? Mm -hmm. So you mean for each video? Because I'm not sure I... Um... How does it generate the storyboard? For example, I see that uh, the the outline uh, seems like it uses like Bloom, Bloom's taxonomy for uh, for mm -hmm. the learning outcomes, like understand, develop. Did you pre-train it somehow with this instructional design uh, rules or how, how does it work? Yes, yes, it does work. Uh, I was afraid that the topic is uh, connected to uh, engineering, and this is not where I am an expert with. Uh, but yes, uh, it it does work on the instructional design principles. Okay. Um, to tell you more, it, it's again for five minutes uh, conversation, and I know we still have material. So. Okay, okay. But yeah, it's good to know that uh, it's pre-trained with the uh, instructional rules. Okay. Yes, yes, it is. Uh, so, so far, this is a very short without any features like elements, music, animations. Um, so far, maybe I can help to anyone with uh, their video creation process, some feature I might need to show so, or I can stop the screen sharing. Yeah, we, we should also start moving on because... Okay, then, then I stop the share. And in any case, um, or if or what you tried, you will have access to it. And if you have any questions in the end of the presentation, there will be Ina's contact, so you can contact her uh, at any time and uh, ask any questions that you have on this. And I will uh, go back to screen sharing. Mm -hmm. I do share screen, right? 
Okay, so we hope you enjoyed this experience. You can uh, comment uh, in the chat uh, what you find or uh, uh, what what you find of it, and uh, yeah, how did you like it or not? And um, I also wanted to share how we uh, combine it with LMS because of course you generate some videos and then you want probably to build in into your existing uh, learning management system and we tried it with Workademy and uh, it's quite uh, easy to do and uh, we are looking forward in having more uh, in more integrated integration let's say uh, but for now what is possible with work academy we also of course went with trends and we now can create the full course outline with ai also using some instructional design principles and bloom's taxonomy uh, behind the scenes but the idea would be to feed and train the model even further so it's really mi meaningful um, and uh, does require a minimal job from L&D expert. Uh, but I always say that uh, we will always need L&Ds to go over this AI-generated content and make it really uh, meaningful and tailored for, for the company's needs and goals. So yeah, go, going back to our academy, we can create course outline with AI. Uh, we provide topic. Uh, we... Um, can choose the language, provide additional context, including some PDFs on some topics, and uh, say that the, the amount of content that we need out of it, and then it does. So I tried it out with time management, and uh, it generated the full um, outline about time manage management, uh, prioritization techniques. It even got me some videos from YouTube, but then I decided to um to use a lie to create a, a video with avatar and with uh, some text uh, about uh, 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 prioritization and uh, time management is, is the what... process of organizing and planning how to divide your time between specific activities good time management enables you to work smarter not harder so you get more done in less time it involves understanding your goals prioritizing tasks and scheduling activities effectively. And then we have some questions. And yeah, we have like full experience of an online course uh, created in uh, like three minutes. And of course, it's not perfect. It's still a talking head uh, reading out uh, uh, AI generated content. But I believe that um, it can save time uh, for this generic uh, uh, topics like this. Uh, and yeah, if you are exploring LMS topics and considering LMS that can integrate with this uh, kind of things, uh, feel free to book a call with me. It's uh, not a sales call. It's, uh, as you can see, I'm genuinely interested uh, in the topic and discussing these things so we can uh, talk about it. Um, and yeah, and uh, our friends from LI also have some uh some offers uh for you Ina yes we um on behalf of Eli we are uh proposing 50 percent discount on yearly plans uh and you can see the promo promo code uh on the screen so also uh, I will leave the contact um be happy to connect with everyone on LinkedIn uh, and uh, if you're interested in it too, also uh, let them know. Um, I will add the email address uh, in the comments. So please, uh, let's get in touch. Diana. Perfect. And I guess we can uh, start in to wrap it up. Uh, st we still have a few minutes. So if you are about to share any kind of feedback, Please comment or raise your hand. Um, it will be really interesting if you find any kind of insight or still have questions. And from my side, we uh, from Adara, we invite you to collaborate with us as well. If you are interested in the content creation done by people and not AI, uh, we are still very, very familiar with AI and also use it a lot. However, we are a passionate team of uh, people doing the content on daily basis 
And of course, follow us in the socials, especially on the LinkedIn. We're about to post a lot, a lot about, about l and in general. Yeah, and follow our academy as well. So we will uh, have more l and happy spaces this year. It's happening every month. And we try to talk about hot topics in l and like AI. Next topic will be about uh, AI usage in leadership training. And uh, that's quite interesting because... For me, if you would ask me maybe a year ago, if you can train leaders with AI, I would definitely say, no, you need a human. But uh, now I see the potential and uh, it's quite uh, interesting. So follow our academy to see the announcement on uh, on next uh, L&D Happy Spaces and also uh, on some content that we post about uh, uh, this kind of topics and everything. Um, and yeah, if you have any questions left, any comments, we, uh, <laughs> I think we got uh, scared 15 minutes ago and started doing everything uh, quicker than it was supposed to. And now we have three minutes left. Uh, thank you so much, Oren, and uh, have a great day. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you. Thank you very Thank you. much. Thank you, Bogdan. Trying to pick on these links to add them in. Very quiet. <laughs> Ina, thank you so much for, for joining us and for sharing experience. Thanks a lot for having me. It's really a pleasure. And remember previously I was a guest, I was just a viewer. So it's really special to become a speaker. Yeah. And yeah, uh, I, I loved how uh, diverse was the... Um, the audience um, and how like a lot of challenges were there. So definitely uh, things to think of and uh, yeah, but super nice. I love when it's like this, when people yeah. participate and uh, talk a lot and have different opinions and yeah, it's super nice. Yeah, yeah. And it feels like it's an advanced uh, audience because, uh, well, usually like my colleagues in Hungary or in Europe, I hear a lot, of, well, no, no, PD, no, no videos, like we, we go with PDF standards still and that's something just because of the working load and this audience was really everyone, one, 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 so I was, wow, that's really awesome. Yeah, I will stop recording and... Um... Yeah, uh, uh, I, I'm going to send you the Google Meet link in Slack.